Welcome to a new video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring the bell to stay updated on the new videos. Join the Discord link is in the description. In this video, I am going to make a Mad Lib. So if you guys don't know what a Mad Lib is, it's basically when you put in random words for a space and then it puts your words in the random parts of the story so it makes it funny for because the wrong words are put in the spots, all right? So let's get to it. Adjective number one, wet, wet. <laughs> Adjective number two, blue, why not blue, yeah. Noun one, poop. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm being a little childish right now. I gotta calm down. Okay. All right. Noun two, truck. Noun three, cabinet. Noun four, machine gun. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Part of the body. Okay, I'm not gonna put what you think. Appendix. Like no one talks about the appendix, so. Why not the appendix? Don't say appendix without the append. Plural noun. Mountain dews. Dictators. Trash cans. Verb one. Farting. Verb two. Smelling. And then let's do kicking for this one. All right, guys, let's get into the story. This is gonna be an amazing story. I can just tell. Mad Libs, the farm. I spent last summer on my grandfa grandfather's wet farm. Oh, wet farm? He raises oats, wheat, and poop. My grandfather also grows lettuce, corn, Lima Mountain Dews. <laughs> My favorite place to farting on the farm is the truck house where the grandfather keeps his blue chickens. Blue chickens, okay. Every day, each hen lays around smooth dictators. <laughs> okay. Grandfather sells most of them. Wait, he's selling the dictators? That doesn't make sense. Well, anyways, grandfather sells most of them, but keeps some to the hens. Can smelling on them and hatch cute fuzzy little trash cans for an hour. And climb a cabinet without losing your appendix. I'm pretty sure I've climbed a cabinet without losing my appendix before. Everyone's pretty much done that. Let's continue. I'm looking forward to next year when grandfather is going to show me how to drive his cabinet, sew the machine gun, <laughs> and kicking the cow. That's amazing. Let's do another one. Adjective. I'm not gonna put wet again. Wait, let me just go make this easy for myself. Just random adjective generator. Handsomely, okay. That is a good adjective because that describes me because all the ladies call me handsome. Don't quote me on that one. I'm totally not lying, guys. Copy, paste, copy, paste. Animal, what animal should it be? Monkey, let's try it. let's put monkey, yeah. If you're watching this right now, you're a monkey. Male name of person, Kim Jong-un, why not? Clorox bleach. I'm on fire with this one. Number 420. One. Part of the body. I don't know. Eyeball. Erect. I think that's a good verb. That's not even supposed to uh, imply anything else, guys. If you think anything else, you have a dirty mind. Wakanda. Plural nouns. Paste that. Type of food, Gordon Ramsay's grilled cheese. Verb, obliterated. Now let's see the results. Mad Limbs, news break. The president passed his physical Clorox bleach with flying emotions in the morning. The doctors gave him a handsome bill of health, but advised him to obliterate it <laughs> at least 20 minutes a day to eat less rough food. That makes sense. 
At the Wakanda Zoo. <laughs> at the Wakanda Zoo, a 500 pound monkey reached out and grabbed a woman's sour camera right out of her eyeball when she tried to take a picture eating a Gordon Ramsay's grilled cheese. The monkey then erected the camera. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but you guys keep it to yourself. Alright, sometimes it doesn't pay to diet. Popular comedian Kim Jong-un. <laughs> Popular comedian Kim Jong-un. I never thought I would hear those two phrases in the same sentence. Popular comedian Kim Jong-un, who's lost more than 421 pounds, was virtually caught with his persons down. <laughs> persons? Down when his pants fell to the floor as he performed in front of an audience of 580, 500 enthusiastic teeth. That one's even better than the last one. Let's do one more. Alright, now let's do this. Adjective number one. You guys already know what's up. Just copy paste and you know. I don't know what ethereal is, but I'll copy that in there because it sounds like a cool word. Do another one. Cultured. Oh, I like that. I'm a really cultured person. That's what a lot of people say about me. Simple. You can't spell simple without simp. So don't simp because if you simp, you're simple. Tart. I mean, I'll, I'll just put tart in there, you know? Education. Let's do that one. Everyone needs an education. 68. 68. Almost, guys. Oh, my phone dropped. That sucks. I'm back, guys. My phone literally dropped off of the wall. I, so I guess you can say I did that off the wall. That was a terrible joke. Now to get back to what I was doing. I know Barack Obama. We've been talking. I, I've been calling him every other day. No, no, toilets. That's the best noun. Toilets. Part of the body. Dingaling. My ding. Nah, just kidding, guys. Well, why not? Why not? This one is called More Great Excuses for Tardiness. Let's see how it goes. Dear Principal, I am sorry to have told you that my ethereal son slash daughter Barack Obama will be unable to attend your cultured school this week as he slash she has caught a case of the pterodactyl pox. The P is not silent, by the way. Because when you pee, is it silent? No, I didn't think so. So P is not silent. The tart doctor says it will be 68 weeks before he slash she is healthy and back on his cyst on his slash her my ding -a okay ignore that <laughs> his slash her my ding -a -ling again <laughs> okay dear math teacher i was driving your mom to school when the toilets failed and my car crashed into a college I think this actually is a good excuse note. I mean, if I'm late to school, then I'll just send this to my teacher. All right, let's continue reading. By the time the tow song finally arrived and the encouraging mechanic agreed the video and recharged the education, we had missed your drunk class. This sounds like a, either someone took a bunch of drugs and wrote an excuse note, or this is the best roast ever. Like, it's like, we had missed your drunk class. Like, I've never, no, I don't know. That, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I have nothing to say after that, you know. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed that video, you better smash that like button or else you will uh, see a rabid dog on your bed. Uh, I don't know, man. Just hit the like button. If you don't, that's okay, too. I mean, it's your choice, you know. I'm not here to make your life decisions. You have to be an independent person. Because when you get in your real life, you know, when you get to the real life, you can't always depend on me to make your decisions. So if you want to hit the like button, go ahead. I, I think that's the right choice to make. But do you really want to hit the like button? Oh, you didn't hit it there? You didn't hit it yet? Oh. Okay. For the people who hit the like button, you're amazing. Alright. Subscribe. Join the Discord. See you guys later. Boys!